Hey, what's up, guys? This is Snake Eyes, bringing you a game on fuel. This is a hellaciously large map, so it's one of the games that I will usually play with some kind of assault rifle. Um, I go back and forth on this map between an ACR and an M4. Um, ACR if you want accuracy, M4 if you want the bullet penetration that is inherent with that gun. Um, what I will do too is use a heartbeat sensor. Just because if you're walking around this map and you're just praying to find somebody, you're going to be probably disappointed. Um, and I also feel that this is another map where if you're not playing very defensively, you are not going to be putting together uh, some good kill streaks or a really good kill death ratio uh, on this map. Um, as you'll notice, there's a little bit of lag. Uh, I'm not host. Again, it's one of those games where people think that uh, if uh, Snake Eyes is in host, I can't do so well, and this is just another game just to prove. It doesn't really matter if you're a defensive player and you're, uh, you're accurate with your weapons, you're going to do really well. Um, for my secondary, I'm using an AA-12 with extended mags. I like this building, probably this is my second favorite building. The main building uh, is probably my favorite, but depending on where I spawn, uh, I'm not going to do a lot of running around. I'm going to try to get to the closest building and defend it, you know, and um, try to get as many kills as I can. I'm using Scavenger Pro as my uh, first perk. Stopping Power Pro as my second. Helicopter standing by. And Ninja Pro as my third perk. Friendly Apache um, I get my 7 9 11 kill streak going pretty quickly here. Um, didn't do so good with the Chopper Gunner, if I recall. gets taken out pretty quickly anyways. Um, I spawn close to where I originally was taking control of the building and decide to go get control of it again. Um, from this building right here you've just got so many angles. Um, I do like it. I think it's easier to defend this building than it is the main building, especially if you're listening to your surroundings. Um, once again, I'm getting called a hacker, and somebody's going to take a video of me playing and send it off to IW and get me banned, or some crap like that. Like, they really care. Uh, number one, if I was hacking. Number two, I don't think I've ever seen anybody get banned in this game. But that is one of the reasons why I make these videos, just to prove to everybody that I don't hack, that all of my game playing is legit. So yeah, as you can see right here, this was a very good window. Um, again, it's one of those windows where you don't stand directly in front of. You're always trying to get angles on people. Um, the least amount of coverage that you have in front of a window is the best. Because obviously people are going to be looking to try to take you out and look through windows into buildings. So the better you are keeping yourself hidden the better. Um, Scavenger Pro really works out great if you're using claymores. Uh, I'm able to cover the two access points into this building and by watching the heartbeat sensor and just keeping a really good eye out um, you definitely will do really well here in terms of points. Um, when coming back into this building you notice I didn't put down a claymore right away if somebody was in the building and you drop a claymore, obviously you're going to make a lot of noise. So it's always best to come into a building that you just got taken out at quietly and hopefully the person that killed you is still in there so you can get them back and exact your revenge. Once I get back into the building, um, I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious. There's three buildings from that one window that you have angles on. Uh, you have the communications building on the right, you have the roof in the middle, and then you have uh, like a vehicle 
second floor building to your far left from that one window. And this game is actually, I don't know if you can see it really well on the recording, but it's pretty laggy. Um, and you'll see why I like to choose the ACR in terms, or over the M4 in certain games. You'll see a person on the middle building out that window right there. He's on top of the roof, hiding behind some air conditioning units. And with the M4, there's just too much kick on it. Um to really be extremely accurate with it, whereas the ACR is like the one of the best guns for uh, accuracy with the heartbeat sensor. And here you see me looking at the middle building. Eventually somebody will get back up on top of there and they control the roof for a little while pretty well and keep me at bay um, because I can't hit them as accurately as I want. Um, from this window, you notice slowly but surely I'm, I'm scanning every window. I'm scanning every angle where somebody else would be. If you're just running in front of the window and not really paying a lot of attention, you know you're going to get killed and you're not going to get to. You're not going to put together good kill streaks. Right there, I missed the guy. Had it been an ACR he would be dead but I do get the guys going to the communications buildings back and forth it's working out pretty well for me again I missed that guy that M4 will work really well for you um, I like using the M4 on this side just because there's a lot of metal wall buildings. Anytime there's metal walls, the M4, in my experience, has done a better job for me in terms of bullet penetration uh, to take people out. If I'm following them while they're running in front of a window and then going behind metal plate, you know, if I keep tracking them and if I keep getting a hit marker, then I'll keep following them with the M4 and because of the bullet penetration it seems to work out really well. Um, that's kind of why I opt to go for M4 on this particular time. I have done just as good, if not better, on, with the ACR. So as long as you're watching your surroundings here, I know this guy is mm, hanging around on the side closest to me. Eventually, uh, heads up, enemy UAV spotted. I make him a little. Uh, interested in what I'm doing in this building over here and sucker him into uh, tripping my claymore and getting me a kill. Uh, got claymores on both sides of the buildings. It's completely secure. As long as I'm listening from my surroundings, um, I'm fine. The reason why I like that heartbeat sensor is, is it kind of alerts you that somebody is in the vicinity and gives you the upper hand to be prepared, just kind of like why I use Ninja Pro. Between Ninja Pro, between the heartbeat sensor, Friendly Harriers inbound. you know, people think I'm cheating or I'm walling. <laughs> I, I hear them coming, I see them coming, and then I have a visual verification on the heartbeat sensor that I know they're in that area. So it's just a matter of timing my shots, making sure that my uh, sight is lined up so that when they finally do come out into the open, into a walkway area, into a building where there's a window that's just like right there, I can take them out. The bullets that you just saw just barely missed me. It was from the guy in the middle building who's hiding behind some air conditioning units. And again, you know, if uh, if you're pushing a situation, you're not hitting them. He's hitting you. You know, get out of there. Don't risk your kill streak and um, try to use the upper hand when you can when he's not expecting it. Uh, for the most part of this whole game, I'm sitting in one building. Use the heartbeat sensor there to tell me that somebody's there. Otherwise, I would have never saw that guy. Um, I get my pave low up in the air. And pretty much conclude the game with my last kill with the pave low. So even though I wasn't host, uh, the game turned out pretty decently. I uh, ended up getting 30 and 3. And uh, I did another game right after this one, so I'll post that one too. Um, wasn't.
quite as good as this one, but it just goes to show as long as you're playing defensively, you're going to do really well. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.